Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x plus 1 brackets times x plus 2 brackets times x plus 3 brackets times x plus 4 brackets is equal to 120. To find the values of x from this math problem, so that x is element of a real number. Now, solution. First, we'll, take, we'll start by taking this x plus 1 times this x plus 4. So it will be x plus 1 bracket times x plus 4 bracket. Then we'll take x plus 2 times x plus 3. So here to be bracket x plus 2 bracket times x plus 3 bracket is equal to this 120. Then from here we'll take this times this. So x times x here to be x square plus x times four to be four x plus one times x is x plus one times four is four bracket. Then times bracket we'll take this x plus two times x plus three. So x times x is x square plus x times three is three x plus 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 3 is 6 bracket is equal to this 120. Then it will be x square plus 4 times 4, 4x plus x is 5x plus 4 bracket bracket this x square plus 3x plus 2x is 5x plus this 6 bracket is equal to 120. Now from here, we can see x squared plus 5x is common. x squared plus 5x is common. Here we have 4, here 6. Between 4 and 6, it is 5. So from here, we'll make 5 in common. Then it will be x squared plus 5x, then plus, here 4. 4 is same as 5. We make 5 in common, so 4 is same as 5 minus 1, bracket, then bracket, here it will be x square plus 5x, then plus 6, 6 is same as 5 plus 1, bracket is equal to this 120. Then in the next step, now from here, you can see this x square plus 5x plus 5, this is common x square plus 5x plus 5. So we'll let y, let's say y is equal to x square plus 5x plus 5. Then our equation will be y minus 1. So here y minus 1 bracket times y plus 1. So here y plus 1 bracket is equal to this 120. Now here, y minus 1 times y plus 1, this is in the form of a perfect square. So it will be y square, then minus 1 square, which is still 1, is equal to 120. Then we'll take negative 1 to this side, so it will be y square is equal to 100. And here, 120, this will take this side to be 120 plus 1 is 121. Then from here, we'll apply square root in both sides. So this square root will cancel square, then it will be y is equal to plus or minus square root of 121, it is plus or minus 11. So from here, we have two solutions of y. Whereas first here, we have solution of y is equal to positive 11, and also we have y is equal to negative 11. Then we'll recall before we let y it is this x square plus 5x plus 5 so from y which is x square plus 5x plus 5 is equal to this 11 and here y it is x square plus 5x plus 5 is equal to this negative 11 then from here we'll take 11 to this side so it will be x square plus 5x then plus 5 we we'll take 11 to this side to be minus 11 is equal to 0 
then it will be x square plus 5x 5 minus 11 it will be minus 6 is equal to 0 now from this quadratic equation here a coefficient of x square is a which is equal to 1 and coefficient of x it is 5 so b is equal to 5 and constant c is equal to negative 6 now from here we'll use quadratic formula now from here this quadratic equation will check if it will give a real solution from here x it must be element of a real number now to check if it will give a real solution we'll use discriminant formula whereas discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac so to be discriminant is equal to b square it will be 5 square which is 25 minus 4 times a a is 1 times c is negative 6 so to be discriminant is equal to 25 minus 4 times 1 times minus 6 it will be positive 24 so it will be discriminant is equal to this plus this is 49 now 49 is greater than 0 so if it is greater than 0 it will give a real solution or a real number now to get the real value of x here from the discriminant from the quadratic formula by using this discriminant here which is 49 it will be x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of discriminant over 2a so it will be x is equal to negative b b it is 5 so negative 5 plus or minus square root of discriminant which is 49 over 2 times a a is 1 so 2 times 1 it is 2 then from here it will be x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus square root of 49 it is 7 over 2 so it will be here we have two solutions so first value of x is equal to negative 5 when it is positive to be plus 7 over 2 and the second value of x it will be negative 5 when it is negative 7 it will be minus 7 over 2 so into here it will be x1 is equal to negative 7 minus 5 is 2 so 7 minus 5 is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 so this is the first value of x and here second value of x is equal to negative 5 negative 7 is negative 12 negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6 so this is the first value of x in this our uh, problem and this is the second value of x into this our uh, problem now let's solve from the second solution then now so from this second solution here we'll take negative 11 to this side so it will be x square plus 5x plus 5 negative 11 take to this side to be plus 11 is equal to 0 so it will be x square plus 5x 5 plus 11 it will be plus 16 is equal to 0 now from this quadratic equation coefficient of x square it will be a which is 1 and coefficient of x is 5 so b is equal to 5 and constant is 16 so c is equal to 16 now let's check if this solution will give this quadratic equation to give a real solution or a real number by using discriminant formula which is equal to b square minus 4ac so it will be discriminant is equal to b square it will be 5 square which is 25 minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 16 so to be discriminant is equal to 25 minus 4 times 16 4 times 6 is 24 goes to 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6 so to be discriminant is equal to this minus this so here to be negative 14 minus 5 it is 9 here it will be 6 borrow 1 to be 5 5 minus 2 it is 3 now this is less than 0 so if it is less than 0 then from this solution no real solution or no real roots 
so this solution here will be rejected so our only values of x it is this x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 6 now let's check if these are solutions are correct so we'll write our problem which is x plus 1 bracket times x plus 2 bracket times x plus 3 bracket times x plus 4 bracket is equal to 120 so let's check for this first solution which is x is equal to 1 so we substitute 1 into these positions of x so it will be 1 plus 1 bracket times 1 x is 1 plus 2 bracket times 1 plus 3 bracket times 1 plus 4 bracket is it, it equal to 120 so this plus this is 2 then times this plus this is 3 times this plus this is 4 times this times this is 5 is it equal to 120 then from this time this here it will be 6 this time this is 20 so 6 times 20 is equal to 120 this time this is true it is 120 is equal to 120 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x is 1 now let's check for the value of x is equal to this negative 6 so from our problem which is x plus 1 bracket times x plus 2 bracket times x plus 3 bracket times x plus 4 bracket is equal to 120 so we substitute here negative 6 so it will be negative 6 plus 1 bracket times negative 6 plus 2 bracket times negative 6 plus 3 bracket times negative 6 plus 4 bracket is equal to 120 so negative 6 plus 1 here it will be negative 5 then times negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 times negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3 times negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2 is it equal to 120 now negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20 times negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 is it equal to 120 now 20 times 6 is 120 is equal to 120 so left side and right side are equal then it is true also this x is equal to negative 6 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye